स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज नोट डाउन दीज नॉट्स हैव बीन अपलोडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ वीडियो प्लीज डाउनलोड यूर नॉट्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज फोर्थ लेक्चर ऑन पॉलिनेशन बिफोर दिस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड सेल पॉलिनेशन क्रॉस पॉलिनेशन डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ क्रॉस पॉलिनेशन लाइक एनिमोफिले दैट इज विंड पॉलिनेशन ऑर्निथोफिले इट इज पॉलिनेशन कैरिड बाई बर्ड्स एंटोमोफिले दैट इज इंसेक्ट पॉलिनेशन एंड डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लैक्चर वी विल डिस्कस सम मोर टाइप्स ऑफ क्रॉस पॉलिनेशन जीनोगैमी एलोगैमी इन टू डेज लैक्चर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस हाइड्रोफिले डियर स्टूडेंट्स हाइड्रोफिले दैट मीन्स पॉलिनेशन कैरिड बाई वोटर एंड डियर स्टूडेंट्स द प्लांट्स इन विच pollination occurs by water they produce hydrophilus flowers and the hydrophilus flower show following characteristics these flowers are small sized and the flowers remain inconspicuous sepal petals or perianth these are unwettable dear students the floral organs are well protected by a waxy substance and that waxy substance or secretion it is mucilage sheath that pre that protects these floral organs from water decay and the plant the floral parts remain unwettable the pollen grains are light in weight and these pollen grains are well covered by mucilage a protective sheath stigma is long stigma sticky stigma and dear students again it is unwettable the hydrophilus flowers there is no requirement of attraction so these are odorless these are colorless no nectar so the so the flowers are nectarless no doubt the hydrophily is not a common mode of pollination in aquatic plants it is not most common type of pollination dear students as in case of aquatic plants in only about 30 genera hydrophily occurs and mainly it occurs in monocots like Valisneria, Jostra, Ceratophyllum, Hytrilla, etc. Note down competitive exam students in aquatic conditions. The plants which produce large size of flowers, the plants which produce attractive colors, as in case of lotus, in case of water lily, water hyacinth, etc. Pollination occurs by insects or by wind not down never confused the plants are aquatic but the mode of pollination that is not hydrophily here other agents are involved like insects wind pollination water pollination or hydrophily it has two types one is hypohydrophily and second is epihydrophily as name indicates in hypohydrophily pollination occurs below the surface of water dear students hypohydrophily that is a characteristic feature of jostra that is a sea grass and in ceratophyllum that is a fresh water aquatic plant in case of jostra sea grass that is a marine it is summer's plant the plant body remains in inside water and the jostra plant the sea grass that produce long ribbon type of pollens and the specific gravity of pollens that remains as of water not down in case of jostra sea grass that is a marine summer's aquatic plant the pollens are long ribbon like and the pollens having specific gravity as of water so 
The long ribbon-like pollens float under the surface of water. And dear students, they come in contact of stigma to effect pollination. In case of ceratophyllum, that is an example of hypohydrophily. Pollination occurs below the surface of water. In this ceratophyllum, the plant body is monoecious, means the plant produces both male and female flowers. Dear students, the mature anthers, the mature anthers in case of ceratophyllum, they break and rise upwardly, come up to the surface of water. And here, on the surface of water, the mature anthers dies to disperse the pollens. The pollen germinate and the germinating pollens sink. During sinking, they come in contact of elongated stigma to pollinate the flowers inside water. So, it is a case of hypohydrophily. Dear student, in case of Valesinaria, this is tape grass. It is an aquatic, submerged, dioecious plant because male and female plants are separate. It shows epihydrophily. Pollination occurs on the surface of water. Dear students, while in case of hypohydrophily, pollination occurs inside the water. But here in case of Valesinaria, it is an example of epihydrophily. Pollination occurs over the surface of water. Here, this is male plant of Valesinaria. The male inflorescence, that is spadix, it produces a cluster of flowers. The male flowers. The mature male flowers break up and they rise upwardly and come on the surface of water. Here, this is a floating male flower of Valesneria. Dear students, note down its two tapers produce a bot shaped structure, and this third tapel, which functions as a sail, as a result, it freely swims over the surface of water. These are two fertile stamens. This is female flower. Dear students, this female flower that comes on the surface of water due to straightening of this coil of style or stalk. As a result, this trifid stigma comes in contact of male flowers. So pollination occurs over the surface of water, it is epihydrophily. Zoophily. As name indicates, zoophily, the pollination that occurs by animal agencies, like insects, like birds, like bats, snails, dear students, human beings, some primates, like lamures, some lizards, Gecko, garden lizard, etc. Chiropterophily. Another important point that is chiropterophily. The pollination by bats. Dear students, pollination by bat that is chiropterophily. And these chiropterophilus flowers are large sized. They produce abundant of nectars in the form of water drops as well as the flowers are not showy these are dull in color but the flowers produce a fermenting a characteristic fruity order to attract the bat it is commonly reported in Sauces plant, Kaigilia, Bohenia, Kadam tree, that is Anthocephalus. And dear students in Malacophily, Malacophily, the pollination carried by snails, mollusk, that is Malacophily. Very common example, 
that is snake cobra plant it is aricema this is all about different modes of cross pollination the pollination by wind that is anemophily pollination by water that is hydrophily dear students it has two types hypohydrophily pollination occurs inside the water body that is hypohydrophily but when pollination occurs over the surface of water then it is epihydrophily and dear students the pollination by birds that is ornithophily pollination by snails mollusk then it is malacophily pollination by insects then it is entomophily and pollination by bat then it is chiropterophily and pollination by different agents of animals then it is zoophily this is all about pollination